Today I'm joined by my TA Indiana for this thermodynamics video. If you're using the thermodynamics textbook by Moran, this is going to be a chapter 2 problem dealing with work and energy. A gas within a piston cylinder assembly undergoes a thermodynamic cycle of three processes. And to finish this problem, you're going to need to make a drawing of a PV diagram. You have to calculate work multiple ways. Once you'll need to use calculus, the other you'll need to just do area under the curve. You'll need to use the conservation of energy equation for each process. You'll also need to account that for a cycle the total change in internal energy of all three processes has to add up to zero because you have to end up at the same place you started. The trickiest part of this problem is dealing with the polytropic process. That's PV equals a constant or in other problems, maybe PV to the N equals a constant. All right, let's go. Start my PV diagram with process one to two. P1 and V1 are given, so those are easy to label. We're given V2, so I can write that number down, but we're not given P1, so I don't have that number labeled yet. I know this process goes from right to left because it says compression, meaning volume is getting smaller. And then I knew this was a concave up curve because PV equals a constant. Or rearranged, pressure equals that constant divided by the volume. So this is a hyperbola. The shape of this graph would look the same even if it were PV to the N is a constant. In which case you would just add an N to that V, but for this problem it's just one. Process two to three says that it's a constant volume, which tells you that it's going either straight down or straight up to stay at that volume. But since it's also given that P3 equals P1, I can erase that upper line and just know that it's going down. Then process three to one says it's a constant pressure, so that goes straight to the right back to point one. So to make sure I haven't missed anything, I organize my problems as given find concept solution where the given is all of the numerical information that's given in the problem. Find is what I'm looking for, both as a word description, then also as its variable, and then also the units. Concept is just gonna be a brief summary of the approach that I'm gonna to use to solve this problem, which for this problem is the main equations. One piece of the given that's worth explaining is Q31 equals zero. In the problem statement, we were given that 3-1 is an adiabatic process. That word adiabatic means that heat transfer for that process is zero. So that's where this Q31 equals zero term came from. So these problems, it's not always immediately obvious where the best place to start is. So I recommend just writing out the conservation of energy equation for all three processes first, and just start plugging in numbers. And you'll probably find that some of the things you need to find are gonna be easier than others. We're given internal energy change from one to two, so we can plug in that 100, and the adiabatic process let us plug in a zero. The work terms are all gonna come from the PV diagram, and the easiest one is gonna be to start from two to three, which is a vertical line. Work is the area under the curve for a PV diagram, so since there's no area under a vertical line, that term's gonna be zero. And I forgot to write down one given at the beginning that kinetic and potential energy can be ignored as zero for this problem, so that's why I added that up to the given. And also in my concept, I crossed those terms off as zero, which justifies why Internal energy by itself is equal to heat minus work, and those two can be ignored from the problem statement. Next easiest term is going to be to find the area of this yellow rectangle, which is going to be work from process 3 to 1. This is going to be positive work because the system is expanding. When the gas is expanding, that means it is lifting up the cylinder in the piston, which means it's doing work to the environment. And because of that sign convention where positive heat is energy entering the system, and positive work is energy leaving the system. That's why the conservation of energy equation has Q minus W on the right-hand side. So that 180, when plugged into the equation, becomes negative because that represents energy leaving the system. And from that third equation, we can now get negative 180 for the internal energy from three to one. Since I now have two of these internal energy terms, I can solve for the third one, since I know that the sum of all of the changes in internal energy have to add up to zero because it's a cycle, meaning at by the time you get back to point one, you have to be back where you started. And that number works out to be 80 kilojoules, which I can plug then into the middle equation. And that lets us finish one part of this problem. Q23 is 80 kilojoules. Now I've delayed dealing with the polytropic process as long as we can. Now it's the only thing left. So we're gonna have to look at process one to two. We're gonna have to find work as area under that curve. And since it's a curve, we'll have to use calculus. You're not gonna be able to do it as just a rectangle like for the other one. To set up the definite integral, the first thing is to solve for that constant. We're gonna actually need to know what number that is. So I'm using the letter C to represent this constant and it gets a value of 200. So I'm setting up my integral by rearranging this formula first into the form of a hyperbola because this left-hand side is gonna represent work. 
integral of one over V is natural log. And then when we add the bounds of integration, the 0 0.2 goes on top because that's the final bound since this curve is going to the left. That's gonna be a little unusual. Normally when you do integrals, the higher number is on top because usually we calculate integrals from left to right and get a positive value. By putting the 0 0.2 on the top, that will automatically give us a negative value. And to check whether this makes sense, this curve is above that horizontal line from three to one. So it should be a larger magnitude value than that rectangle because this curve includes the yellow shaded area and the red shaded area. And since work from three to one was 180 and this term is 460, that's good, it does make sense. So the red area actually should be larger than the yellow area. So if this were drawn to scale, 0.2 would actually be much higher up. All right, well, let's actually just finish this problem now. We get a network of negative 280.5 kilojoules. Now I mentioned at the beginning that I recommended always starting with all three equations and just hopping around and just finding whatever you can easiest. And worth mentioning here that I never ended up finding Q12, that's the heat for process one to two. Could do that pretty easily, it's negative 360. But no one ever complained about saving five seconds on a problem. All right, final question, is this a refrigeration cycle or a power cycle? And the answer is refrigeration cycle and you can tell based on the sign for net work. A power cycle produces work. There's energy leaving the system, so net work would have to be a positive term. A refrigeration cycle, like a refrigerator, uses electricity to function. So there has to be energy going into the system in the form of work, in which case work term would be negative, like it is for this problem. So this problem could represent a refrigeration cycle. If this video helped you understand PV plots and polytropic processes, and you think it would help other students as well, please hit the thumbs up so that this video will appear higher in search so that other students can find it easier. Thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.